So this video talks through place, uh, the tools you're gonna need to replace your glow plugs on an Audi V6 3 litre diesel engine. I've got a 58 plate A4 convertible. I needed a T30 and a T40 Torx thingamajiggy um, to remove some of the ancillary equipment at the top of the engine. I also needed this thing, which is a CRMV8 to remove some of the stuff on the top of the engine so I could get it off. Just some wiring stuff really and what look, looked like an, an engine an engine lifting point. Uh, so I needed those. I also needed some very long reach pliers so you get a scale on that so that I could get down to get the caps off, get the electrical connectors off the top of the glow plugs. Then I needed a 10 millimeter long reach uh, wrench which obviously goes on top of each of the plugs that's an 3 8 drive I needed a 3 8 knuckle to go with it a long bar um, and there was quite a lot of fiddling on the back two of these but it will go on and you don't need to have to take much off you just need to loosen some of the wiring um, oh that's just, that just goes with that uh, and then a couple of screwdrivers just to help whittle things back on um, when I was putting it back together, obviously a three eighth drive, three eighth, three eighth torque wrench, um, and a magnet, so that I could reach down and pick up my glow plugs from the top. Four came out really easily, just with some gentle force. The fifth one, um, I had to wiggle backwards and forwards, just lock unlock lock unlock lock unlock don't overdo it and then that came loose and that came out and number six i had to do the same thing i had to just lock unlock lock unlock lock unlock and then in the end i got a bit of movement and once i got a bit of movement i just gently removed it all six came out i took five out and replaced them while i was waiting for the six ones to soak in wd-40 did it on a cold engine i did wd-40 the top of all of them but to be fair i don't think that seeps in until you've got it moving anyway uh four of these are showing infinite resistance one of them showing about 17 or 18 ohms which basically is too high and the others are showing that and the last two were showing about 1.6 ohms resistance, which is what I was getting off the new plugs. Uh, so I replaced mine with these, which are Bosch. Ooh, get it the right way up for you. Duraterm 194s. There's the code. I got them from Euro Parts. They were running a 30% discount, which made quite a lot of difference. But you can get them cheaper if you dig around on eBay. So that's what I've put back in. Um, okay, so here's the engine with the cover off. You can see why they put a cover on it. <laughs> so this is the UK passenger side. And the first glow lead is there. You can't really see it, but it's just down there. There's the top of it. I had to take this off. So I had to torque that and that out, remove this engine mount thing. And then actually it's pretty easy access. Reach in with your long reach pliers, you can pull that one out. This one came out really easily. And for this back one, I had to take off, I had to loosen that, take that off, loosen that one on the other side, take that off. Then I could work this thing, which is a wiring loom thing. I could just pull it out of the way. And once that was pulled out of the way, I could then get in, there's the lead and it's buried in there. But with this just pulled out of the way, you can get into that really easily. Then on the other side, this one's pretty straightforward. Just reach down and you can get that one out. The middle one here, you can get to, you can just push these out of the way and you can get to it. It's down there. Can't really see the camera angle, but it's down there. And then the back one's a bit fiddly, but basically you pull this thing out of the way. And with this wiring loom loose, you can pull all this out of the way and it's down here and you can get to it. Trust me, where's it gone? Yeah, it's down here. Trust me, you can get to it. You can pull all this out of the way and then you can get to it. Get your long nose plies in, pull all your leads off, and then you drop your 10 mil in with your magnet. Drop your 10 mil in with your magnet, and then get your 3 8 bar on, and then just gentle pressure. Don't rush it. Take your time, few minutes. And with me, four came out first time, no problem. 
Number five took a bit of encouragement. Number six took a bit more, but I did it on a cold engine. If it doesn't work and you can't get any headway on this, then if you can, drive your car around, get it super hot, um, and then have a go. But it's worth spending a few minutes locating where everything is before you get the engine really hot. And then once you've got the engine really hot, um, you should be able to do it. So a good mechanic told me. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased. It went actually went pretty pretty well, fairly straightforward. Took me time. Whole thing took about an hour, hour and a half maybe.